I just received a call from my grandma and she said there's something swimming around in her pool. Guys, do you see this giant spider right here? You found something? Yeah, yeah, yeah look. <gasps> Can't tell that's a leaf or something, but it looks like it's oh? moving. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, I just received a call from my grandma and she said there's something swimming around in her pool. Now, she doesn't have that great of eyesight. She can't really tell what it is, but she said there was something that was swimming back and forth in her pool and she said we need to come check it out and remove it. Now guys, obviously this creature that is living in her pool is not supposed to be there and I'm honestly a little scared to see what we're getting ourselves into. It might be a big animal that's gonna bite us. I'm not too sure. The only thing left to do is head over and check it out. But guys, before we hop into today's video, here's a word from today's sponsor. Now before we hop into today's video, I would like to give a huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Are you finding it hard to spare time to cook with such a hectic schedule? With Factor, you can get delectable, pre-prepared meals tailored to fit your lifestyle while skipping out on supermarket visits, the chopping, the cleaning, the prepping, all while ensuring you get delicious, nutrient-rich meals. Take your pick from your favorite dishes with a weekly updated menu with 27 plus meals and 33 add-on options. And now Factor is owned by HelloFresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. So our Factor box just arrived. We're gonna go on ahead and open it. And another reason why I love Factor is it accommodates various dietary preferences, including keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, vegan and veggie options, including meat, seafood and plant-based meals. So here we have my go-to delicious dinner, which is the sun-dried tomato chicken with zucchini noodles. And my favorite part is the no prep, no mess. All you have to do is pierce the film, allowing it to vent, and then pop it in the microwave on high for two minutes. My meal's nice and ready. Let's go on ahead and take the first bite. So we're gonna go on ahead, give it a little cut. All right, guys. Wow, guys, that is some delicious fresh food, ready in only a few minutes. It doesn't get better than this. Now guys, if you wanna eat well without the hassle and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered straight to your door, head to factor75.com or click the link down below and use code HANNAH50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. All right guys, so we've made it to my grandma's house. We're here at the pool area. So grandma, you wanna tell everyone what you saw this morning? Yes, I got up to have my coffee. I uh -huh. looked out my kitchen window as I always Okay, yeah, do. she was looking out right here. And I just saw some things on top of the pool and I really didn't know what, what to expect. So I came out and looked and I still couldn't decipher what it was, so I called you. And you had and no idea what it is? You still no, have no idea? No, I really don't. Oh my goodness, guys, I don't know what we're getting. Oh! We, we just had the pool. Clean. Grandma, do you see that? Oh my word, yeah. Oh, guys. Do you see this giant spider right here? So yeah, there's absolutely no way I'm getting in the pool with this thing in here. So we're gonna have to remove this, but just look how ginormous this spider is. Oh my goodness, guys. If you've been following the channel, you know my biggest fear is spiders. Can't touch them, can't be around them. So. Well, the pool was just clean. Well, uh, you wanna try to get the spider? No, thank you. Fernando, no. you wanna get the spider? I'll get the spider. Here, pick it up with your hands. Okay, you wanna pick it up with your hands? All right, Fernando's going bite? in. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, guys. He's picking up the spider with his hands. Let's see how this goes. That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. That is really gross. Look how giant the spider is. We don't know if it bites, but look how giant he is. You want a bug catcher? What do you think about him? <laughs> I don't like spiders. This is tough. Yeah, we're going to actually release him instead of putting him in a bug catcher. So you want to go release him over here, please? Yep. Far away from the pool. So Fernando's going to go release him. Let's go check this little guy out. Let's just put him in the grass right here. All right. So first little animal found in the pool today. Not my favorite. Not what I was expecting at all. So here this little guy goes. And let's push him very carefully up and... Oh, he doesn't want to leave you, Fernando. I think you, I think you found a new friend. There we go. He's off. You got him oh, off. there he is. He's off. He's sitting in the grass. He just scurried into the grass. So, guys, let's do our investigating. We're gonna be looking in this pool to see what the heck my grandma was talking about. So, Fernando, you want to get one side. Grandma, you want to get the other. Okay. We're gonna look in different spots. All right, guys. So I'm not seeing anything. If you look on the bottom of the pool, you can see all of those are leaves on the bottom. Yes. You know what? Uh huh. That comes from the tree. 
our neighbor's tree. It's a black olive tree. Oh, yeah. So the, the leaves are coming from this tree right here. So it's going to be very difficult to spot the what the heck. The pool, oh, it stains the bottom. Yeah. It's going to be very difficult oh, with oh, the oh, leaves oh, and everything. Oh, what? You found something? Yeah, yeah look. <gasps> can't tell if that's a leaf or something, but it looks like it's Oh. Moving. What? Is that a little turtle? Grandma, I think we found it. Look at this! <gasps> Guys, there's a little baby turtle. I don't know if you can see it. It literally blends in with the leaves. Oh and if you look very, very closely, you almost have to squint and focus on it. I wonder where that came from. Do you think a bird had it and maybe dropped it? I'm think thinking so. I'm thinking so. That's usually how we it happens. Oh, it's coming up. Now. Oh, oh my gosh, it's coming up, guys. Let's see if we can grab it. Three, two, and oh! I almost had it, guys. Guys, I missed it. I think I'm gonna have to get in the back. pool. It's coming back. Wait, where? Oh, this little guy's coming back up. Let's go ahead, scoop him out of the pool. Oh my goodness, guys. Hello. He was literally asking to be rescued. Poor little thing. This chlorine water is definitely not good for this little guy right here. He was probably dying to get out of here because he's so tiny. He couldn't get out of here. Grandma, Fernando, what do you think? Look well, at this. Know, I'm wondering where it came from because Look. across one block over is a lake. Oh. And it could be that a bird went over and... Yeah, that's definitely what it has to be because there's absolutely no way that this little turtle got in this pool without some help from a bird These or something else. These have yeah. lots of birds in them. Oh my so. goodness, but we did it guys. We got this little buddy out of the pool. It was a safe and successful rescue. If you take a look at this little guy right here, you can see he's a yellow belly slider. So down here in South Florida, you actually can't re-release them back in the wild. So I think an amazing spot to put this little guy is in my pond with all of my mollies. What do you think guys? I think it's a great idea. So guys, yeah, we're gonna take this little guy home and see how he does in my pond. Guys, we were just about to put this little baby turtle in a container and I think he's so frightened. Look, Grandma, he pooped on me. Oh dear. Do you see that? Oh, a lot. Too. Yeah, he left a little oh my poop, goodness. so we're just gonna go ahead and put that little poop in there. Put this little guy in the container and what a successful day finding this little baby turtle down here in South Florida. I mean, it's something crazy every single day, right? Thank you, Hannah, for coming. Of course, this little Can baby is in good hands. And he is gonna be nice and safe in a new pond. So guys, let's head home. Guys, you are not going to believe what we found coming back from my grandma's from rescuing the little baby turtle. I mean, I don't know what's in today's air, but oh my goodness, this has to be one of my favorite native snakes here down in South Florida. This is a ring neck snake right here. Oh my goodness. At first, I didn't know if he was alive because I have a bunch of cats in my front of my house and they love to bring their presents that they catch. Wait, let me try to catch it. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this little guy. Thankfully, he's alive. Thankfully, none of the cats got him. This little guy is on the move. Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and grab him. Three, two, and... Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, he just mussed all over me. It probably smells really bad, but look how beautiful this little guy is. Let's go ahead and take him in the light right here. Oh my goodness. Look at you. You're so adorable. Look how tiny this little guy is. Now we're going to do with this little guy. We're going to release him in an area that's very wooded. Has a lot of plants so no cats or no animals can get him because look how gorgeous this little snake is. Oh my goodness. I mean look how tiny he is. Hello little buddy. What are you doing? So we're going to go ahead and release this little guy right here. There you go little buddy. Back into nature you go. We're going to make sure he scurries off into the bushes right here. But he left a little parting present. There is poop, snake poop all over me. Guys, I don't know what is up with today, but there's all these animals just pooping all over me. Let's go ahead, let's see if it smells. Oh, guys, it smells really, really bad. Ugh. Guys, we've made it back to my house. We got the little turtle right here, and here is my pond. So it has blossomed so, so much. Everything is growing. I mean, look at the mangroves. Look at all of the water plants right here. I mean, it is completely its own little ecosystem right here. We have snails cleaning up this entire pond. We have hundreds and hundreds of mollies in here, and it's absolutely crazy to see such a tiny little pond become its own little ecosystem. It's honestly amazing seeing this whole process, and now we're gonna add our first little baby turtle and he's gonna have so much room to move around to make new friends and he'll probably munch on some of the little baby fish but don't tell the fish because they're gonna be very scared so we're gonna go on ahead and he's eager to get out we're gonna put him in in three two and off he goes where is he going buddy you're going the wrong way look we already got some fish he's coming up to the top checking out what the heck he is and he's off guys so I think oh oh actually he's right here guys do you see him he's 
right on the leaves right here and this is actually great because he can come on these water plants and sunbathe right here but buddy we need to help you out you can't be doing that you better go go and swim yeah guys this turtle definitely wants to sunbathe wants to check out his little pond first he is just moving around so much and Oh, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see him. The sun is very, very bright, but he was poking his little head out right here, and he is off in his new pond, and he is going to have the time of his lives. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and feed our fish. Guys, you're not going to believe how many fish we have in here, so let's make a little hole right here. Move this around. Oh, you can already see the fish coming to the surface. Let's see if we can see them. We're going to sprinkle it in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's see, guys. Let's see if we have any fish coming to the surface. They gotta sniff it out, guys. We got our first. I see three or four. Oh my goodness, look how many, guys. Do you see that? Let's see if we can see better if I block the sun out of the way. Oh my goodness, guys, that is absolutely crazy. You can see them coming left and right, munching on this food, and they are some happy and healthy fish. But guys, that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, rescuing this turtle out of my grandma's pool, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. Honestly, guys, I didn't expect how many critters we were gonna find in today's video. I mean, I'm honestly shocked, but it was a successful day relocating this little baby turtle and getting all of these animals to safety. Now guys, comment down below, what was your favorite critter you saw today? Was it the snake? Was it the turtle? Turtle, or was it a creepy spider or my fish guys and guys if you want to see some crazy rescue animal videos Well, what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below?